originate from North America. There, mink were farmed for their fur and their pelts were sold all around the world. Soon there were mink farms in other countries too, including Scotland. Farmed mink were slaughtered and skinned. Their pelts were turned into expensive fur coats. Rich people bought glossy mink coats that went down to the floor. The farmer was feeding the mink, but was in a rush. She accidentally left the cage unlocked. Mink escaped. Some of them couldn't survive because they didn't find the right habitat, but a lot of them managed to find suitable homes. Rivers, streams, lochs, or burns. They escaped from mink farms all around Scotland. Mink fur went out of fashion. And mink farmers went out of business. Many jobs were lost. The mink who survived found food. They bred and established successful populations. Hey, hey, down here. First, I'm gonna tell you about where I live. The I love the water. I can swim for 4K. Water is a great way for me to travel. There's lots of food for me in the water too. Just looking around for a snack, but I don't need to watch out for predators because I don't have some in Scotland. Except for humans, of course. You can see my claw marks in the clay. This is a mink monitoring raft. Humans use them to track me down. I'm a stealthy predator on land too. In trouble up to 40 kilometers, always looking out for new territories. I've heard about this great island off the northwest of Scotland with lots of baby seabirds and food. Panda is an important seabird nature reserve. It's a breeding ground for native birds like bonxies and puffins. Johnny is the Handa Ranger. His job is to look after the island and its wildlife. A mink was caught on Handa in spring 2021. Mink are really good swimmers and uh, Handa's only about, at the closest point, it's about 300 meters from the mainland. So mink can swim about four kilometers. So 300 meters isn't too difficult for the mink. So we think it probably sw swam across. We only found one mink uh, and we had the traps out and we had various techniques. We have clay pads across the island which leave footprints and we caught the one mink and we left the traps out for another two and a half weeks and we didn't see any other evidence. So fingers crossed and toes crossed that it was just one mink and it didn't breed. They tend to use dead logs. If they have big holes in logs with holes in, they'll go in there or any kind of small space. I'm sure if they found an empty rabbit burrow, they would like that as well. But anything kind of close to fresh water and, uh, and kind of a small, narrow space, they will, they will utilize as their home. The mink, a very varied diet. That's why they seem to be so adaptable and spread all across Britain. They eat anything from fish, small birds, uh, crabs, and, and small mammals as well.
This is Xavier Lambin from the University of Aberdeen. He helped us find out more about how mink are disturbing our waterfall populations. The species has declined enormously. They have declined by no, by 98%. That you know, where there was 100, there was only about two left. The problem with America's mink is that um, you know, the waterfalls are too big. So that's mean the, the, the way the waterfalls are escaping a predator, they either go and jump in the water and they kick the silt yeah. uh, in, the, in the river and that makes a cloud in the water and the main, not only things cannot catch them. Or they run into their burrows. And normally their burrows is a safe place for them to be. But they're such big uh, rodents, or they're really quite big, uh, that the female of the American mink can enter in their burrows and or they can catch them very easily. And mink are kind of uh, an interesting animal because they not only kill what they have to eat today, but they also make reserves for tomorrow. So when a mink arrive in a place where there is say 20 water balls, or a mother, a father, and a few offspring, a female mink can kill them all in two or three days. And then she stores them in her den or in the stone. And you know, that so so efficient, so good at catching them, that the water balls will really have no chance against that species. It's really important that people keep monitoring and culling American mink to protect our native wildlife populations.